Hello! Hello! Welcome to episode 19! Oh, it's so bright in my room that my green screen's not working properly. Ah, oh, I don't know. You won't notice once I'm shrunk, shrunk down to the uh, little, little screen there. Um, well, well, what is it? What's happening this week? Well, last week, the wheel picked moderator's choice. Um, and moderator's choice consists of many, many Mega Drive games. Yes, Nutty Cluster, moderator, Nutty Cluster, um, grew up with a Mega Drive. So, basically, I... I gave a free range to have a look at all, all the Mega Drive games, and um, and she picked thirty four of them. So what we're going to do is this is part one of uh, a Mega Drive special, and next time Moderator's Choice comes up on the wheel, we'll have part two, um, and we're going to be looking at what I consider to be some of the weirdest games on the Mega Drive. Certainly not ones I would have picked for anything else, so at least we're getting to have a look at them, so that'll be good. Um, also, I probably should point out, I've done something to my ribs, so if you see me wincing and twitching in a weird way, not in a streaming way, then that's what it is, because it's nearly painkiller time. Yes. Um, anyway, let's get on. I'm just going to... Move over to the little uh, little screen, and we'll pop up a Mega Drive logo for you Twitch people. You YouTube people see it all the time, but uh, they can have it live this time because I know it's going to be Mega Drive all the time. There we go. See, see, Mega Drive. Uh, right. Okay. So, just for my sanity, we're going to do them in alphabetical order. So. Um, so out of the list of 34, I randomly picked. So she may be expecting some this week that she's not going to get for, I don't know, however many weeks it is. But um, obviously the full list will be in the comments. And uh, as always. So let's start with Bubble and Squeak. Yes, Bubble and Squeak. Now, when we were picking these, I was in two minds whether I was going to check them out first. Even just to see if they worked. Because sometimes, you know, I, I start them all usually to make sure they're all working. Um, but I've decided not to this time. And um, so I'm going into these properly blind. I, I don't I don't know what sort of games they are. Uh, I don't know what they're going to look like or, or anything. So... Um, Yes, let's see. So, we've got your window. There we go. Right, let's see what Bubble and Squeak is all about. I'm going to guess platformy. Okay, jump and fire. Can't go that way. Oh, reverse platformy. Shiny things here would be something, wouldn't you? Now, is it a collect all the items type game or is it go along as fast as you can? Keep 
Yeah, my buttons mixed up. So I should probably point out that I think there's uh, 11 games um, on the list for tonight. So, as always in these shows, I will say, it's a shadow, shallow paddle, not a deep dive. Um, we may only get one or two um, stages of each game done. No, no timer, which does seem to suggest it's a clock to all the things rather than a, in which case, that, that'll be annoying because I'm sure I've missed one or two. Penguins. Irritating. Irritating penguins. It's going to stab me right back at the start. So, it's, uh, 
Oh. Yes, chat room. Death by penguin. Taken from behind. Before I, uh... was bubble and squeak I think we're done with bubble and squeak we checked it out we see what the game plays like we know what it is so let's move to our next one which is dashing desperados uh, once again, I'd like to make sure everybody knows. Uh, Naughty Clusters picked all these. Uh, as it is, moderator's choice. Okay, right. So, I don't think this uh, game is... Now a Kind of think I know what was going on there. Oh, uh, oh, oh, you nutty clusters trying to weasel out of picking bad games for you. Yes. She did choose them blind, she picked them on um, title and cover art. It's certainly a judging a book by its cover business.
Do you know what? For the longest time then, I really thought I was playing it. It really felt like every time I pressed the button, it jumped. I tell you. Those painkillers pain will be around soon. Ready? Making naughty closed his eyes at. Come on, okay. Ready? Go. Seemed like that guy then, rather than getting the girl, spent time where he could have been kissing her, throwing bombs at me. Too close to him, don't you? There we go. That was Dashing Desperados by Data East. Okay. 
let's have a look at this one. There is nothing more 90s than Fido Dido. Yes, we're going to take a look at the Fido Dido game next. So, let me dig you out a screen. Now, what do we reckon? Fido Dido. Platformer? Is it a cheap tie-in with 7-Up? Or is it a... What, what, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Let's have a look. Okay. I'm curious if it's given me a, a music option. I'm always a little bit worried because when these go on YouTube, um, although I said that, I said that last week about Star Wars and that it was only one game that caused me an issue. So, let's see what we get. Okay, we can't go anywhere now that I've got down there. It's annoying. We're going up. No, no, no. Uncool indeed. Right, I see my bad guys. Oh, for F's sake. Nope, he's bad guy as well. No, no, I 
I don't I want to try and get it feels like there's gum there for a reason why can't I get it that's rubbish that one on this I'm not blaming the controller by the way it just seems like the only way I can avoid these skaters is because I know they're coming and this guy how do I get past him patience I guess oh, what's that? see why is there someone there how do I get stuck Rub him out. That's it. Try a finger click. Try it, try it where? Go on then, we'll have one more crack at this because um, Naughty Cluster's offering suggestions. See, it's that copyright music thing there that makes me go, oh, oh. Against all the pencil dudes. my fingers they don't work it opens that I had to jump then before that skater came on the screen. Don't oh, can't jump off that bit. Can't jump off that bit.
Oh! Balls. There goes Fido Dido walking into the sunset. There we go. Uh, right, let's move on to our next title in the moderator's choice. Okay, so this is. Um, Just um, getting your window. I've just noticed chat looks uh, looks better. Might have it too large this time, seeing as uh, Nutty Cluster's name doesn't fit in. Trial and error. Trial and error. <sighs> right. It came from the desert. It's an electronic arts title. I'm not really sure what to expect, to be honest with you. I've got music, I don't have any video, is that right? Because he's such a jester. This game, if this, if this is what the game's supposed to be, it's fucking impossible.
Um. You know when you kind of feel like you're missing something? It's like, I feel that's what it's telling me the game is. But. I mean, why can I shoot things if I can't shoot things? I think that grenade's gonna do me any good. I think it's... Does it? Like I say, we've got a lot to get through. Um, so, ah, it would be nice if it just automatically captured it. Right, 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 right. So, here we go. K. 
haired chameleon. Again, no idea. But it's starting off with an arcade, so. only have jump though at the moment. Oh, not even a double jump. Die. Why have I got no no fight in us? Oh I see. So I can jump on its head. I'm going to need that dragon in a minute to get up to the ones I can't reach. shiny helmet but I don't know um, what benefits it gives me still only have jump It feels to me like it uh, collect as many of these as you can and then... Oh! Then kill something? Oh, look, Mario flag! Sega. So. I'm sure I had a, an attack that one. Oh. 
Start again. They were harsh, weren't they? They could drive games. Or well, games of this era, just no messing around. Try that to start, mate. Oh, didn't want to go down. Is it big enough to come on? Come on. No, can't make it jump. Yeah, I'm right. Put it out of its misery. So jump on it once and it um, stops it in its tracks. It doesn't kill it. Oh, I thought you might give me a helmet then. Well, we have 11 games to get through. Um, it does win bonus points for being arcade-based. But, um... Yes, yes. That was Kid Chameleon. Um, stepping into the arcade to kill bad guys. Okay. Let's... Can you hear that music? Do you know what that music is? Me neither, because I've never played this. But, you know, one of you might have. You might be going, oh my god! That sounds like Mr. Nuts with a Z. 
Um, and you'd be right, it is Mr. Nuts with a Z. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be somebody with massive testicles. Um, but let's find out. Oh, Kel Surprise, it's, it's a cartoon squirrel. Doing, um, doing Mickey Mouse, Castle of Illusion type things. There was an awful lot of these types of games. I mean, we just played Kid Chameleon, which is very simple. nuts I'm almost certain she picked this because of the name just because of the name so look got a jump is that a punch difficult to say with that animation no can't touch them can we jump on them we can jump on them Perhaps I need to punch them because I didn't feel like I could jump on it. nuts for them. One touch from them. Murder Hornets.
this where the murder hornet's coming? Jimmy. Is that a checkpoint? Checkpoint. Okay, well we got past journey one. Like that that works for me. That's enough. Um, you know, and we're about halfway there. So um, yeah. Oh. oh. Um. Okay. Let's move on to our next title. I have reservations about this title, I must admit. Let's um, let's get you a window. Worryingly, it's another Electronic Arts one. So if it's anything like um, It Came From The Dessert, then uh, you might not be on it for long. But uh, here we are with uh, Moderator's Choice Picked. This is Normie's Beach Babe Orama. Ooh. Okay, let's have a look, shall we?
Oh, right. Well, that is a situation. We're getting a platform game then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jump. Punch. Jump. Run very fast. gonna hurt me. Oh no. That pulls off. Mm. Alright, tell you what. It isn't as bad as I anticipated. Full crocodiles. Take. Okay. Not quite sure why we're picking up the, the balls, the beach balls. Press the wrong button there. Wow. That's irritating. Another back to the start jobby. Look at a game. Thank you. 
Ow, ow, ow. Beach balls down there. I'm a bit worried about dropping down there. No. Oh no. Jackass. Oh. oh, you know what that movement means? That movement there. Bye bye, Nomi, Nomi's Beach Baby Ram. Again, it's not as bad as I anticipated and involves time travel. And beach babes, I suppose. Okay. Let's move on. This is Rye Star. Um. Oh, very ultraviolet light painted. Not sure what to expect this one. Like all of them, really. It had a cute star on the packaging. That's why. Oh, here we go. That's why it was picked. Wow, that's the 90th titles I've ever seen. What have we got? Jump! Jump and hug. I think. Why can't I jump up there?
feel I should be letting go and dropping onto those platforms, but I don't know how to do that. Like that. Doing shrinky dinks. I like I like that she said the nineties vibe, but I did I did uh, shrinky dinks in the seventies. So and they've been going since the fifties. To be honest with you, I quite like the um, the grabbing mechanic. I like it. Come on! I'm coming it the wrong way. 
facing the wrong way. randomly like a fool seem to work. Well look, we completed a level of Rystar. And jolly entertaining it was too, but we still have four more games left. So um, let's move on to our next game. Again, um, well, the last one I feel she picked because of the cute star on the packaging. Um, this one, fairly certain she picked it because of the name. Because this game is called Shove It. And that's the um, the level of dignified chat that we expect from our moderator. Um, so, and I've got no idea, no idea what this game's going to be or 
It's called Shove It the Warehouse Game. Not sure I'll be playing this with my back. Oh, it's a puzzler. Okay. Let's go then. boxes in that area because you'd never get them out. How's the forklift going to get in? And some of those, some of those walls are really thick. Okay, I have to move that way. Well, it's a stumper. It's going to be one of these that I'm going to make a move and then I'm just broke it. Can I move two? Can't move two. I think I'm buggered. Let's run restart. What's trace mode? Anyway, let's. Uh, so I have to move that one because it's in the way. Then there's no way out. Come on, Nutty Cluster, you picked it. You can help me solve this one. by accident. Top left box, down one. Okay. The screen I'm looking at is the screen I am seeing. Okay. So, I have to move that one. Because it's the only one I've got.
Okay. Top left is down one. But I've got no way around to get the other ones. Middle right. Lower right, down one, okay. But now, can't move either of those boxes. Oh, I thought the bloody grey one. We found out at the same time that I can move the grey ones. Right. Well, now that I've just shoved that grey one all the way over there, I've probably done myself a mischief. Yeah, I've buggered that. Let's see what trace mode is. Although it does feel like I should should move it. Gonna get that other one. Balls. I have to push. This is too late for these shenanigans. So if I push top right. I get stuck because this feels like it should go all the way across okay this feels right and that feels right get to the grey one
The only way I can get to Grey One is by moving that and then coming round. Ah, oh, gotcha, you bugger. I apologise to all you people who have just been, uh, just spent the next, the last however few minutes screaming at your screens. That's what I'm here for. say no more um, it's not really exciting enough it's more frustrating than exciting for you to watch somebody being stupid oh goodness gracious right Our last three games. Uh, okay, so uh, we're doing uh, a license title now. A little bit, a um, little bit of the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Let's see. <laughs> We might look at the mini games afterwards and see what we've got. Ah, oh. what do you reckon? Another platform game? Okay, this is weird. I can't really tell. Continue because I died very quickly. Rock stop bounce like that. Thank you. 
No, 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 no. It's all the top then. F the flags for now. You know, this feels like VC's class of tyres. got me anyway. And now we're going to do no. No, continue. No. Forget about it. Do we have a quick look at the uh, the mini games that are on it? Just a quick look. We're not going to play the mini games because I pressed the wrong button. I can't be asked for it to reload. There we go. A quick, quick look at Rocky and Bullwinkle. Um, okay, let's try the next one. Our penultimate uh, Mega Drive game for this Mega Drive special is The Humans. Again, it's like one of those things that I feel. <coughs> oh. <coughs> <Ow>. <coughs> I feel I recognise the title, but. This is Lemmings. Yes, we said it at the same time. I think. But why are they not lemminging if that's the case? What what is it I'm actually doing? Am I just wasting time going this way? Yes, I am. This is what happens when you play a game. Oh, 
what was that? Uh, right, so uh, lemmingy, it's not actually lemmings. Right, so my options makes a noise. I can't tell what it's doing. Right, that one changes. Don't rightly know. I mean, am I supposed to create a little bridge so that the people can get to the spear? Because there isn't anything to say go. Yes, I, I, I realise there's a timer. Well, there doesn't seem to be any sort of diggy, diggy, stoppy, blocky type. They do that, they put their arms in their air, but I don't think I can walk on them. No. No help there. So we have to get these people who have no ability whatsoever rather than putting other than putting their hands up in the air. Nearly getting them. Um, look, uh, so let's do that. <laughs> right. The option is uh, the option. The idea is to discover the spear. And it did say you have to get four people to do that. But there is nothing to interact with. So I don't know what to do. So that button only changes between the guys. That button makes a noise, but I don't know what. I don't know what it's doing.
it's going to have to be one of those games we're going to have to RTFM or watch a YouTube video or something because uh, well so yeah Naughty Cluster saying can they stack on top of each other now I was trying that but I don't know how to get them to do that that seemed like they're the only options for it aren't they they stand with their hands in the air like they can make a tower. <coughs> oh. <coughs> uh, so. They can't get on top of each other. And they have to drop down. But they drop behind each other. So I'm sticking, I'm sticking with my initial decision and uh, we're going to move on to our final game of our inaugural um, Moderator's Choice Mega Drive Special number one. Um, okay, and our... final game today and because we've never looked through them or played them or anything I can't tell you if we're ending on a high note or not but we're going to be playing Wiz and Liz let's find out oh. This, this is a story all about how I do wonder if I should concentrate on the story and then we kind of know how to play it. Those fruit. Whoa! Golly, he's fast. Okay. Okay. They hurt me, the rabbits, or am I collecting the rabbits? God, he moves so fast. Through the bloody. There we go. Blebby? What the 
down my spelling. The T icons. Okay. You just got to run around like a dingy. That's right, Naughty Costume does look a bit lightly. Everyone assumes they mean something to somebody. I don't know how to control them properly. I mean, one assumes they're the programmers, the developers of it. Who knows? Okay. Do you know what? 
that seems as good a place as any to draw a line uh, under this episode. Yes, indeed. Um, so, there we go. That was our last Mega Drive game for this evening. Um, so, let's switch to the wheel, shall we? Um, wow, that chat's massive on here. Let's just shoot it off the page. Um, as long as it's there, I think it will keep when we move back to the next screen. Uh, right, so... It's time for the wheel. Yes. Um, as we said last week, moderator's choice stays on. Stays on the wheel. She demanded it. So there you go. Um, so let's see what we'll be doing next week. Oh, Mario. Right. Okay, so, so, um, games that involve Mario, um, but possibly not the ones that involve racing, because we'll want to keep them for the next driving show. So, it's going to be, uh, whoa, I don't know, there'll be some Super Mario Brothers, there might be some... Uh, Mario puzzlers. Uh, I'm just gonna have to have a look and see, see which ones are fancy. Um, so wow, Mario. Okay, that's a big one. That's a big one, like Donkey Kong, that one, and Pac-Man. Uh, but that's what we're doing next week. So if you've enjoyed us, then please feel free to drop us an email if you like. Uh, retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's retro at snugradio.co.uk. That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. Uh, we're also on Facebook and Twitter as Snug Radio and on TikTok. Guess what? Also Snug Radio. That's right. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, please, please, please give us a, a, a like, a subscribe, a ring the bell, a do a little dance, whatever you want. But that'd be great. Comment. If there's anything you want to see us play, then just comment below or drop us an email or tweet us or TikTok us or whatever. Just get as old of us and it'll get back to me and we'll be able to uh, play whatever you want. So um, don't forget, we do this every Monday at seven o'clock here on Twitch. So uh, if you if you've found us on a repeat and you want to watch us uh, watch us live Mondays at seven uh, UK time, then uh, we'll be here and we'll be playing retro games. So that's it for me. I'm off to take a whole bunch of painkillers. And um, I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. And until then, I've been Matt. This has been Snug Radio's Retro Lounge. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>